today we are going to do a simple wine tote. The first one I will do is in a 360 by 200 hoop. It's going to be all done in one hooping. Okay, so I have all my fabric ready. I have my, I'm using like this fleece felty stuff. And if you notice, it stretches this way, but not so much that way. So I have cut it so it doesn't stretch as much. Okay, so I'm gonna send it over to the machine and I will do my first placement stitch. All right, if you can see, the first placement stitches are just for my handle because like this one, I want a handle on mine. You do not have to put a handle though. So I will take my handle and I will tape them in place like so after I go get my tape. Okay, I have it taped down. I'm gonna send it over the machine to do the tack down and then it's going to do the placement stitch for the bag. Okay, it's tacked it down and it's also did the placement stitch. Now I want you to notice on this one I use no-show poly mesh, okay? The next one I'm gonna do tear away, okay? So you can use either one. My daughter-in-law, she uses tear, and, tear away. So now you might wanna tape your handle down so it doesn't get caught on your foot. Mine just tried to get caught, okay? So I got my handle taped down. Now I am going to take my fabric and I am going to line up the top right here with this, okay? Line it up, make sure it's nice and neat, okay? I have the, the pattern, I say to cut it seven inches, even though it's only gonna be four or uh, six inches wide. And the reason on some of the ones that have applique or stitch design, it'll have a tendency to pull it in. And if you have it exact, your edges, you can't make them nice and neat cut. So I say go ahead and do uh, seven inches and that way you have a quarter inch on each side to play. All right, so I have this down. Now I'm gonna send it to the machine. It'll do the tack down and the circle, okay? Alrighty, it's ta it's did the tack down and it did my circle. I am not gonna cut mine out, my circle out until the end. You could cut it out now if you wanted, but I will wait. It's did my first placement stitch because I am doing the Christmas tree one. So I'm gonna cover this with a very big piece of fabric and go tack it down. Okay, it's tacked it down. I'm just gonna trim it. Now this is a raw edge, it is not a satin, so it's just gonna have raw edges because that's what I wanted. I wanted like a rustic look. So I'm just trimming it up, you know, with a little overhang and then it'll do a triple stitch, okay? Now we'll take it down and do the next placement stitch. Okay, because there's so many of these and each one has a different design, I'm not gonna keep coming back every time I do a placement and a stitch. I'm gonna finish my design, then I'll come back and show you how to finish the bag. But most of y'all know how to do a simple applique, so be back in a bit. Okay, I have my design all stitched out, or mine is applique, it may be a design. Now you're gonna lift up this flap and you are going to cut a line directly under this, under the uh, placement stitch, and you're gonna cut it right straight across there. I'm trying to find my cutter. So you're just gonna cut a line right at the bottom of this without cutting your stitch. There we go. And then you're just gonna take your flap, this flap, and pull it through there, okay? Just like that. Then turn it over. Make sure well, I don't have my core. I don't have my corner cut far enough because my fabric isn't laying over where it's supposed to. There we go. Okay. So now you want to make sure your fabrics over both lines on both sides, and then you're going to tape this in place and send it back over to the machine and tack it down. Okay, it stitched it all down, as you can see. I turn over on the back, that's what the back looks like. Now, because I used cutaway, mine's gonna be a little more complicated to 
cut out than um, using uh, tear away, but I shall prevail. All I'm gonna do is move my hoop and stuff out of the way, and I will use my straight edge. Okay, I'm just gonna trim it because I want these even. I only want them about a quarter inch, okay? So I'm gonna trim this, pull this back, and trim up there, and, oh, wait, pull this back. I will trim all that up there, okay? So I'll just use er, this to do it all, okay? And I'll be right back as soon as I trim this up. On my sides, I only want a quarter of an inch. So I will line this up all the way with my quarter inch mark. And then I'll just trim it all the way up. Okay, that was easy. Now I will turn it around and I will do the same thing on this side. Quarter of an inch, line up that stitch just like that and trim it all the way up. Okay, now if you want, if you use tear away and you want the stabilizer gone at the bottom, just take your scissors in there and cut it across. And then it won't show like so. I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing to the back side part of, oh, there isn't any back, duh. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna cut the hole in the center. I'm gonna pull these apart like this so I don't catch the back. And then I'll just make my little cut in there. Make sure I got through my stabilizer as well. <laughs> Otherwise the bottle won't go in, whatever kind of bottle you're gonna use. So i will try that one more time. There we go. Okay, and now I will trim around my circle. Okay. Just like so. Just make sure you don't go all the way to the through the other side. That's why some people may prefer to uh, trim it while it's still in the hoop. Me, I feel like I can get a nicer trim, although these scissors are horrible right now. Hmm. But then again, you've heard me many times say I need to get new scissors. The ones I want are like $80. Just invest the money. I weigh so much money. Is that chit chat, Dennis? Okay. Almost done. Look at that. All right. There we go. And that's what it looks like. And that's what the back looks like. Take off all my, let me get another wine bottle here. Here's a wine bottle. Well, actually it's not a wine bottle, it's just a bottle. And just open your little thing. And this one has a handle because I put a handle on it. And then there you go. Okay, so see, this is what it'll look like. I kind of wanted you to see it standing up. And this is what the back looks like. And remember, you can do it with or without the handle, however you want, okay? And I like the handle because then I can carry it, especially if it's a gift. And this will go over the top, okay? But there you go. Now I will do the five by seven. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the tote, the wine tote in two five by seven hoopings. Okay, I've got my tear away this time stabilizer hooped and I'm gonna go do placement. Okay, it's did the placement stitch for the handle. Once again, I'm going to put a handle. So I'm going to tape my straps right here and right there and then go tack them down and it will do the placement stitch for the top fabric. Okay, it's tacked this down and it's did the placement stitch for the front bag flap. I'm going to remove my tape and once again, I am going to tape my handle down so it doesn't get caught in the machine somewhere. Okay, so now what I will do is take my fabric and if you notice this time I didn't use um, 
felt or fleece. I wanted to just see how it looks with fabric. I haven't did it with regular fret, fret <laughs> fabric, but so I'm going to take this piece of fabric and I am going to line it up with the top of that placement stitch. Okay. And then I'm going to tape it in place because I don't want it to move. I want to make sure I'm even ish. Okay, I'm going to tape it up here. And I am going to tape it over here. And then I'm going to take it over and it'll tack it down across here and then it will do the circle for the bottle. Okay, that's pretty much it for the first tooping. I'm going to remove my tape so I can take the stabilizer off. And this one I will trim before I put it, sew it together, that way you can see. Okay, so I will uh, remove my stabilizer. that you need to see all this, right? Okay. There we go. Move the stabilizer. Not the, <laughs> not the pocket strap. Okay. And then I will trim inside my circle. Okay. I will do that Why the next step I am going to hoop another piece of tearaway stabilizer. And then um, go do the first place in the step. Be right back. Okay, it's did a placement stitch, and I've got my my opening trim there. So I'm going to center my fabric in the hoop, and I am going to make sure make sure my circle is just above that line. See, just above it. And I want my fabric centered, and I will tape it in place because I don't want it to go. Okay, the phone rang, kind of cut me off. All right, so I have this all taped in place, nice and neat. I got my handle and the bottom all taped up. So now I'm in the center of the machine. It's going to do its um, design. Okay, it stitched my wording. So now I'm going to take all my tape off. And now I have to go to the sewing machine. The only other way to do it would be to have a third hooping just to close it. And it still wouldn't close it all the way like I like them closed. So... Take this tape off and remove all my uh, stabilizer. Okay, once we have our stabilizer all moved out, I'm going to see where 12 inches from the top is. Okay, so right about it to there. So I'm going to stitch 12 inches up, across, and then down 12 inches, okay? On the sewing machine and I'm going to give it a half an inch a half inch in quart wait a minute wait a minute I am going to give it a quarter inch okay be right back okay I've went ahead and sewed it all closed there all right now okay I went around and I uh, trimmed the edges um, so it was a little more I don't know whatever you want to call it all right let's see how this one does without um fleece and stuff Whoop, broke bottle broke bottle look at that oh i love it wait a minute look see there it is winter break <laughs> not winter winter all right there you go and that is how you do it in five by seven 